Hi everyone, welcome back to Learn with Preeti Baby. Today's lesson is about past perfect tense. First, we will look at the usage of this tense and then we will learn how to form the positive, negative and interrogative sentences using this tense. So stay with me right till the end to have a clear understanding of this tense. Let's begin. We use past perfect tense to talk about an action that happened before another action in the past. So we can say that when we talk about two actions happened in the past, past perfect tense clearly indicates which one happened first. And since we show the order of two past events, past perfect shows the earlier action while past simple shows the later action. I have already made a video on past simple tense. You can go to my channel and watch that video too. Let's quickly have a look at these examples to understand this better. The first example is, the bus had left by the time I reached the bus stop. The thief had escaped when the police arrived. So in both these examples, the earlier action which is the bus had left and the thief had escaped is described by past perfect tense while the later action that is I reached the bus stop and the police arrived is described by simple past tense. Always remember if there is only one event even if it happened a long time ago we will not use the past perfect tense. We only use this tense when we are talking about two action and this tense describes the previous action. We can also use this tense to talk about an action that happened before another action by emphasizing on the time duration of the first action. If you notice in our previous examples we did not mention any specific time but now we will emphasize on the time duration of the first action. Let's learn this by looking at these examples. The first example is I had lived in this house for five years before I sold it. Second example is she had been lonely for a long time until she got a pet. So if you notice we have mentioned a time duration for the first action that I lived in this house for five years before I sold it. So living in the house was the first action while selling the house is the second action and I emphasized on the time duration that I lived here for five years. Also, make a note that we use the word for and we use a time duration, like I said, five years. Now let's quickly move on to learn how to form the positive, negative and interrogative sentences using this tense. And for this purpose, we will use a base verb, say work, and then we will look at how to form the sentences using this base verb. Let's have a look at this chart. The sentence structure for positive sentences is subject plus had plus the past participle. No matter what the subject, I, you, we, they, he, she, it, we always use had. So as we are using work as our base verb, our positive sentence will be I had worked. Worked is the past participle for work. I had worked, we had worked, you had worked, they had worked, he had worked, she had worked. So our example sentence for the positive will be I had worked before the match started. Moving on to the negative sentences, we will put not after had. So we will say I had not worked. And our example sentence will be, I hadn't worked before the match started. Notice that we have used the contraction of had not, which is hadn't. Moving on to the interrogative sentences, we will just change the order of the words. So we will put had before the subject and we will say, had I worked, had you worked? And our example sentence will be, had I worked before the match started? Here comes a little tricky part of this tense, which is the expression to have. Yes, the expression to have is used when we want to say to have breakfast, to have lunch, to have dinner. But when using this in the past perfect tense, we have to change it to the past participle. So the past participle of have is had. But as we have already learned, that in the sentence structure for past perfect tense there is a had after the subject so here the sentence will be i had had my breakfast before my mom arrived 
so an action happened before my mom arrived and we we say i had had my breakfast yes it might sound a little weird but that's how we use it so make sure you use it correctly so that's it for today don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more learning videos hit the like button share the videos with your friends and keep learning i will see you in the next video